so nice to meet you guys. Just love this show. And Markella, I love Nori. She represents the everyday hero that Tolkien always elevated throughout all of his work. So I want to ask you how you feel this character really embodies his vision of the small standing up against overwhelming darkness, especially in season two. Wow. That's an amazing question. Uh, I would say something that really rings true whenever I've read Tolkien's books and um, and looked into the lore is, is that there is a lot about friendships and unexpected heroes and unexpected allies and um, unions. So I think, and these really unlikely alliances too. And so I think with Nori, it's really, I think hopefully something that resonates is this being in a world where she's been told no so many times and her dreams are too big and her aspirations need to be shut down um, and she's just defied. She's just really kind of uh, rebuked that and really fought against that. And so now she's been given this opportunity in season two to kind of really fulfill those aspirations and find her purpose and also have this really incredible friend by her side as well as Poppy. And so you really see, uh, you really see the the benefits of letting letting someone just just explore and discover what they feel is right to them. This season does really delve more into darkness. And Daniel, given Tolkien's deep explore, exploration of you know the moral choices that his characters face, how does the stranger's ambiguity really challenge or align with the legacy of Tolkien's writing when it comes to evil and redemption? Yeah, because in season one, uh, you know, one of the things I, I was lucky enough to, to be able to play and to explore was this idea of the way that I suppose we get seduced by the possibility of having power. So mm -hmm. what does it feel like when we suddenly, the light bulb goes on and we go, oh, hold on a second, I can control this. Or this can be made in my image or I can do something here. You know, I think of the fireflies or the tree with the fruit, you know, and the, there are all sorts of, um, the, the winds and the and the and, and the um, and the, na the natural world bending to his will, all these things are dr dreadfully seductive, because they imply that just because I can do it, mm. I should do it, and it 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 limits everything in in the sphere of the individual as opposed to the sphere of community of of groups of other people's needs, and one of the things that he's learnt most um, vividly, I think, is through the Harfoot community and especially through Nori's the relationship with Nori is how important those interactions are with other beings and what they give us, what they give to, to both people in, in, a, in a healthy relationship. Yeah. So he's learned trust and love and friendship and truth and honesty and care and comfort and all these different things. And so in season two, he's got this really strong foundational, um, uh, learnt exper experiential base sort of scaffolding, but he's going to be requested to use this power, this energy, this connection that he has to energy in a way that is going to be helpful to the rest of Middle Earth. But, but he doesn't really understand that energy yet. And so his tightrope is to walk that path, being true to the, to the, to the learnings that he's, he's had, but also being true to the wider communities, the wider world of you know, the, 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 the whole of Middle Earth. Well, Markella, kind of on that, how does their relationship reflect the, the broader themes of trust and faith in the face of evil? I think it, it just uh, goes to show how, how amazing it is to have um, solid friendships that really ground you and really can hold you accountable as well for your mistakes and for kind of a lack of judgment and um, uh, a kind of the difficulties or the choices you might make that will put others in danger to have someone just morally check you. I think it really uh, kind of rings true. And I, I also think that, you know, whenever someone's moral compass is in question, it's c it can be difficult to, uh, to kind of get oneself out of a dangerous situation without um, a friend. And so it really just goes to show how important friendship and community is. Uh, in the face of adversity, in the face of, of difficult times.